What's up everyone? Hope everyone's doing well. Welcome back to another episode on the EV side. My name's Simon and um, this week I've taken a little look at, um, so these, I'm at Bulldog Services and these are four brand new 350 kilowatt Ionity chargers for electric cars and um, I suppose Really, is this the final takeover uh, of Ecotricity? Now, way back um, somewhere else, so probably way back over there somewhere, is Ecotricity's uh, couple of old aging chargers, which everyone that uses them know that there's various issues, no matter what car you seem to drive. Um, and it looks like Ionity, certainly so far, what I've, I know about, is Bulldog, Cambridge, Peterborough, and I believe another site have had four of these put in. Uh, now, obviously, these are high charge powered um, electric chargers. Um, I think I remember rightly that these were originally eight pound flat fee charges. I'm not sure whether that's still the case, but um, I'll double check. Um, but is that bad? If that's eight pound compared to, I usually put anywhere between four and six pound in uh, an Ecotricity if I'm on a motorway services. And obviously the 12 pound um, holding fee that you obviously get back about five days later. Um, but actually for a reliable, easy service that um, in my experience when I've used Ionities have always worked, um, is that a bad thing? And actually eight pound for, um, I suppose for uh, motorway services, is that really that bad anyway? Yeah, it's more expensive than say, you know, if you go and use a Polar or a um, uh, an Instavolt um, out and about in car parks and supermarkets and hotels and things like that. But actually, if you're on the motorway journey and you're stopping and you're having something, it's quick, it's easy, you don't want, especially if you've got kids in the back of the car, you don't really want a lot of faffing. So um, I really hope that this is Ionity's charge to market and charge across especially the motorway services which has been long overdue um ecotricity have had the hold on um, motorway services for far too long so let's hope this is a sign of things to come as you can see these things are <laughs> as you can see these things are all wrapped up still so um we're a little far off actually these going live i've heard that these have uh, kind of stopped a little bit before the covid uh, pandemic so i'm hoping that these will start to uh, become kind of live again. It looks like they've got all the all the writing on the floor and the chargers look like they're ready to go. Over the back here as well we've got all the um, power supply and everything else. For these sort of size chargers you need a, an extreme power source to come into the site. And what's really good is that where I am is about as far away from the main, main site over there as possible. Um, anyone that drives EVs and especially with Ecotricity being where they are located right next to the door more often than not you get iced because it's a nice easy way for people to park right next to the front doors um, so hopefully that will reduce that problem as well so great to see Ionity um, please keep it up and please let this be a start of a, a mass UK rollout across motorway services it's much needed and a much welcome change so anyway if you did like this episode don't forget to like share and subscribe click the notification bell if you want to see more content from me and until next time thanks very much take it easy bye bye